Kelly Henderson. I live in Colorado Springs. I have a Mercedes 144 uh, Sprinter. It's, it's four wheel drive. It's a pretty simple build out. I like to avoid really hot human places. So my name's Ron. I live in Vail, Colorado. Uh, I had Touring build my van for me. <laughs> majority of my playtime is spent outdoors. Most of it is rock climbing. I like long routes. Give me a 2,000 foot wall to climb. I'm a happy camper. It's all good. Uh, we typically use it for uh, family vacations, week at a time. They're taking it down to Baja, up into uh, northern Canada, to the coast. Try to get 60, 70 days a year in it, something along those lines. No, I, I've never needed it. In, in, my, in my three years of being in the van, um, I, I found no need for it at all. Air conditioning has been huge for us because it just buys us the freedom. We can take our dogs, we can leave the dogs in the van, we can go for a long bike ride, we can go for a long hike. The dogs, we know they're safe, we know they're comfortable. So that's been great. And air conditioning makes that all possible. So really psyched to put the AC on. We're a little strategic in what we do because we're like kind of blessed here with really low humidity. It, you're not sticky, you can, you can manage the temperature really well. Just driving down, you know, you're driving, it's 100 degrees out the back of the van, stays nice and cool. Those random nights you're stuck in Walmart parking lot, fire up the air conditioner, close up the windows. It's like sleeping on a little cocoon, it's awesome. And we're kind of blessed with really cold nights. So bringing in the cold air at night, it makes it easy to sleep. I think a lot of times we wouldn't go if we didn't have an AC, because we couldn't deal with leaving the dogs or it'd just be flat out too hot. So it just opens up a huge possibility to go places that we might not go without the AC. Personally, I try to avoid places where I might need one. <laughs> I'm like, I don't go to the Southeast much anymore and I, I don't end up in California, I don't know. We play mostly outside in the mountains. The nomadic cooling has almost been just sort of set and forget. It's been fantastic, we've never had a problem. It always works, it's just there, you turn it on. So yeah, it's been a great product for us. Definitely worth having. It's one of the things we probably use the most on the van is firing that thing up.